Hey guys, what's up? I suck the trend here from One Hack Gazette here with my next video and in this one we're gonna take a look at the new Valks being used by some Town Hall 9s here. Uh, the first one we're taking a look at a Town Hall 9, taking on a Town Hall 10, and I'm telling you guys this new Valk, um, the new kind of AI I guess you can call it, the speed, the damage they do, um, it's it hasn't been seen in the game for quite a while. Um, as far as bringing this kind of power to a Town Hall 9 troop that's not defense targeting, just kind of a straight up non-preference uh, targeting troop. Um, so pretty crazy stuff. I, um, Genbox coming in here and I love what he's doing. He uses the queen to kind of clear out the funnel on the right side. At the bottom comes in with a golem, a few wizards, just to clean out a few buildings. That's all he needs to do. Gets a little bit of damage in the Lava Hound, but that's not the goal there. But you can see he's cleared out this nice little path for his Valks to kind of beat through the wall here and uh, make their way into the base. Those single Infernos are not going to do very much against the Valks just because the Valks are going to move so quickly through. Everything's stacked up next to each other. The Teslas are all bunched up. So the Valks can hit uh, two Teslas at a time, just go in completely through this entire core of the base. Uh, under the ridge, cleared it out in a matter of seconds. Already on to the next part of the base. And they, I think... Um, it almost looks like they're moving so much faster. It's just because they're swinging faster, I guess. But the second they get between two buildings, boom, they swing. Um, and they're doing quite a bit of damage these days. So uh, you didn't even use any heal spells, but still the Valks are still pretty tanky. They have a 1,000 hit points, I think, at level 4. So that's more than a giant, and uh, that's quite a bit. So you can see here they decimated this base pretty solidly. And uh, the queen still up, the king still up making their way through all fast forward because there's just one cannon left and the last few troops are going to get around and take it out. So awesome attack to Genbok, getting the three star on a Town Hall 10. Pretty low level Town Hall 10, but has the Infernos. Never easy to do. Um, let's go ahead and just take a look at this live action. Why not? Maybe it's some Valks. Uh, actually, it was some Valks here. We might be getting the Town Hall 10 three star, which I did not expect to have. We'll go ahead and take a look at that one after we look at a few um, other Town Hall 9s. I want to keep this Town Hall 9, like I said. So let's take a look at number 8, being taken out by Rudy, doing it with 10 Valks and coming in with just one Golem. Has 20 Hogs, so quite a few Hogs, but also quite a few Valks. I think Golems are going to be a little bit less popular um, post-update just because there's a little bit less time, you need the damage going out as quickly as possible. So I think we're going to see a lot more Valks replacing what could have been a second Golem. Just because they're tanky in their own right, plus you have the King. Uh, so you don't need that extra tank necessarily in some of these attacks. Anyway though, basically a storm to the base with a jump spell and everything make their way through. Kind of an anti-two-star base, at least at Town Hall 9. But you guys get the idea. Um, the Valks, super powerful, going to basically just destroy the core of this base. Uh, like they will most other Town Hall 9 bases. Uh, they take that jump into this bottom compartment, which works out nicely. Sends the Hogs up top. They do hit a giant bomb, but not his main group. So uh, the main group is under a heal. They'll make their way through, just kind of sprinkling these Hogs in. Uh, the Queen did go around, but no big deal. Uh, she actually avoided the Lava Hound, uh, which worked out okay for him. And then uh, still has one Valk that he just is going to deploy for cleanup, I guess. Um, the defenses up top didn't quite go down, and the hogs are kind of petering out, but that last heal spell will keep those, like, three up for a little longer. Um, they'll get in there, they'll take out, uh, the, the last few defenses in that part of the base, I believe, if they have enough juice to get it done. Maybe they don't, uh, but you can see right here, the queen's making her way around. Still has a few Valks up, some wizards, and that last hog barely gets that wizard tower. Everything kind of converges here, so I'll go ahead and fast forward, because they do take out the Lava Hound, but has the poison to help out, and the Queen is just going to finish things off over here. So good attack to Rudy. Got a little bit close, but um, still, you know, somewhat difficult to get the three star in the three minutes, just because adjusting is kind of difficult. No Queen Walks, kind of have to uh, change it up. I mean, you can do Queen Walks, but they have to be shorter, and uh, you really have to make sure you're uh, diligent of the less the lack of time you have to, to execute this stuff. Anyway, though, um, we're looking at one more of Rudy's attacks because he's do, using the Valk so nicely here in this war. Uh, comes in with two golems, some wizards, creating the funnel, normal stuff. I'm going to enter the base in just a moment. And I know you guys see this base a lot. I see it probably every other war a clan has it. And uh, I guess that this is just another possible way to beat it um, if you have the right hero levels, I guess. 
comes in with a bunch of Valks, King, Queen. These guys had a lot of Lava Hounds in the CC, and sometimes you want to you know do a trick on it to lure it out and then use the healer. Sometimes just go straight up, use the Queen, some Wizards, take it out. Either way, uh, works fine usually. But anyway, came in here with the Quakes, basically accessing two possible Double Giant Bomb spots, and uh, it looks like there was a single bomb right there. Uh, the Hog's coming through though. Uh, it is a possible spot there. I can't remember if this is a cleanup attack or not. I'm not sure. At this base, uh, it can have different variations of where they, if they do single bombs or double bombs or like a combination of that. It just differs from base to base. But anyway, though, uh, Rudy coming through. The Golemites are doing a nice job taking for the Queen. She's gotten really deep into this base. Same with the King. They've both made their way into these middle compartments and they're doing some damage, taking out a few of these high HP buildings. There goes one of the, I think that's a single bomb set. This base kind of confused me. But, um, oh yeah, there's the double set. But anyway, uh, saved quite a few hogs. And that's what you want to do. If there's going to be a few lo uh, locations where you're unsure if there's uh, double giant bombs there or not, just save some hogs. If there are there, don't make it be the worst case scenario. Let yourself still have quite a few hogs. I think he had like eight hogs left over. So very patient. Um, and when your hogs do get blown up, just send more in. And you know that they will be avoiding that double giant bomb spot because it already went off. A few builder huts in the corner, but um, probably should have, with the new three minutes, should have had some archers for that, but no big deal. Had enough time, luckily. Oh, let's take a look at that attack that uh, was just happening. Town Hall 10 attack, little bonus for you guys. We got Vietha coming in. Looks like it was pretty close on time, but getting the three star at Town Hall. Uh, looks like a Town Hall 11 on the Town Hall 10. Uh, but still, you know, this base has maxed out Infernos, Expos, um, some of the cannons are somewhat high level, so still a difficult base to 3-star, even as a Town Hall 11, just because of time constraints, and doesn't even have the max Valks or max Hogs, so keep in mind here that, you know, Town Hall 10s are going to have those level 5 Valks pretty soon, and that's going to be pretty uh, OP in my opinion. Uh, from what I've seen, I'm a little more, more confident that the Valks are going to be uh, that much more powerful at Town Hall 10. We'll see though. Uh, anyway though, coming in here with the Queen Walk, using a nice level 40 Queen to take out some of these buildings. Uh, does have to deal with the Lava Hound, that's kind of a time sink, but uh, she'll go through, I'll go ahead and fast forward. She goes through it, comes in with a Golem and a wizard, a few Wizards at the bottom. This is the first time I'm seeing this attack, so um, I'll do my best to kind of try to take you guys through what's happening but I'm seeing it the first time also. A lot of people seem to not be using wall breakers with the Valks, which is just great. As long as you create your funnel, they can just one swing from a big group like that, and all those walls are going down, no question. Uh, anyway, they're coming through here. Under Rage, those Valks are moving extremely quickly, hopping all around, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Queen is still working up top. Everything's gonna take that jump. I think he already popped the Eternal Tome to protect those Valks a little bit better, uh, but the King made his way through with the Valks, cleared out that entire core, uh, now it's time to send the hogs through. Doesn't have that many hogs, uh, but doesn't need that many. Has the freeze. Uh, looks like it was dropped on probably a few defenses that went down, but got the wizard tower at least. Uh, anyway, though, the hogs kind of peter out right there, but still has that big convoy of the queen, or basically all three of his heroes, and it looks like they just powered through the rest of this base. We kind of saw the end of the attack already, uh, but it's just kind of using some muscle to get through here. Probably would have not worked for a Town Hall 10, just because they don't have that warden. Um, but anyway, got the three star. Awesome job to V at the 76. Um, final attack to watch. And uh, yeah, cool that we got to see this one, even though I wasn't planning on showing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, these Valks are going to be pretty OP. So I'll continue showing them throughout the recap videos and whatnot in the future. But last few videos have kind of been dedicated to the new update stuff. Because I know that's what people want to see at this point in the game. They want to see the new troops and stuff. So I'm going to do my best to show that. Uh, continuing continuously throughout the next few war recaps. But anyway, um, hopefully we'll get some Town Hall 8 action. I want to see those level 6 hogs and level 5 Valks at Town Hall 8 in the CC because that seems like it'll be pretty OP. But anyway, uh, not the closest war here. Might do a recap, might not, I'm not sure. But either way, I'll have some more videos coming out for the rest of this week. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if there's any kind of gameplay in particular you want to see in the comment section below. Uh, regarding some of the new stuff or just basically any type of thing, Town Hall 11 through Town Hall 8 if I have access to those attacks. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. But anyway, thanks for watching this one. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Septatron out.